In these problems, we're looking at some rational functions and trying to find out where they are discontinuous, where there are discontinuities, and if any of them are what they call removable. So just to review here, in a rational function, if you've got zero in the denominator, if you've got anything that uh, value of x that makes this denominator zero, that's going to create a discontinuity. On the graph of that, you'd see the function maybe shooting up to infinity on one side and down to negative infinity on the other side. There'd be an asymptote there. And that's a discontinuity in the graph. It doesn't smoothly flow from one point to the next at that point. Uh, the way to do this uh, typically is to factor out our um, denominator, figure out where it's zero, and uh, then examine those discontinuities. So let's try that. So we have x plus 5 on the top and on the bottom. This is a difference of squares, so that's x minus 5 and x plus 5. Now, the discontinuities happen at uh, the points where these are 0, so we set each of these equal to 0. x minus 5 equals 0, that comes out to x equals 5, and this one comes out to x equals negative 5. And you've got to be careful about your signs here, because the other part of this question is which discontinuities are removable. And the ones that are removable are the ones that you can cancel out. So we can cancel that out. It doesn't mean that this disappears there's still a discontinuity at uh, x equals negative 5. It's just that it's not an asymptote. It becomes just a hole in the graph. So what we would say is that there are discontinuities at x equals 5 and x equals negative 5, and this one is removable. The reason I say to be careful with the signs is that you might be tempted to say that this is a positive 5 because we've got the factor is x plus 5. But remember, you have to solve that for the the value x equals negative 5. All right, let's look at one more. Here we have 2 over x squared minus 4, and again we can factor the denominator to find the discontinuities. This is uh, a difference of squares again, so that's x minus 2 and x plus 2. So solving these by setting them equal to 0, we get x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Move this up. And we can see that nothing cancels here. We've got a 2 up top, but it's not an x minus 2 or an x plus 2, so none of these factors is going to cancel. So we've got discontinuities at x equals 2 and x equals negative 2, but none are removable. So that's a little bit of work with removable discontinuities. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.